Hi guys, welcome to Nenda Twin 22. Vanessa here speaking, and today we have another unboxing video. And this is Nendoroid number 1164 Zhao Zekai. I don't know if I pronounce it right, but anyway, um, this character was from China's popular series called The King's Avatar. And anyway, Zhao Zekai is an esports player of glory. So I really like this Nandoroid due to the fact that he comes with a lot of parts. Example, like this heart and this penguin. And he also comes with a cute fish split. <laughs> Alright. And I really like um, the body as well. It is great for casual wear for your Nandoroids. And anyway, um, here is the Nandoroid. Here is the front of the box. Here is the side of the box. Here is the back of the box. The side of the box. And then the bottom. And then the top. So, really, um, I really like this um, faceplate. Now you know why I bought this Nando. <laughs> um, it's not because I just like um, this faceplate, but also I really like um, heart shapes stuff. Now, we can unbox the unbox, sorry, unbox this Nando. Right? I'm sorry. Oh dear, you know, I have a lot of bloopers in this video, to be honest with you. I taped that intro many times. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on with me. So I feel like I'm not on myself. <laughs> anyway, pardon this. Um, that is a marker mark. I have been using um, coloring pens for my business. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, it's really tough to open and I'm using my card to open it carefully. Now, here it goes. So, as usual, there's um, a pamphlet um, at the bottom and here shows the parts of your Nandoroid. And it also shows details on how you, you know, place stuff or how you will you know um assemble your nandoroid so let's proceed on with the unboxing let's remove the box oh look at that and this nandoroid comes up with two extra face plates a blush face plate and also this cute face plate that we have here and his primary faceplate is, you know, a smiley faceplate. I think that I will keep this letter right here. It looks really cute. I don't know, but I really try to minimize actually my nandoroids. To be honest with you, before I was a collector um, of nandoroids and I got almost 20 nandoroids. And then I realized that I'm becoming greedy when it comes to Nandoroids. So, you know, that is when I start off to declutter my Nandoroids. Really, I know that some of you are sad to hear that. But um, to, for me, you know, um, I just keep only three Nandoroids as of this time. I managed to minimize my Nandoroid collection and I think that for this Nandoroid, really, I really want to keep it. <laughs> it's, re it's really cute. And the hair reminds me of my friend's hair. <laughs> well, he's not my crush, you know. Just a friend of mine, my gosh. But he's part of Nandoroid community. I am not sure if you know that <laughs> or if you know that person. Anyway, so we'll tackle first um, the Nandoroid itself. I'm gonna release or remove the plastic. 
so we may have a closer look with an android by the way all right uh, this little thing um on his hair is removable it is where you can replace it with the penguin that's here um i'm gonna remove the plastic that covers his face don't worry uh, i have a marker i just hope that it won't affect an android mm -hmm. why am i removing the faceplate <laughs> I'm just gonna remove the plastic. My gosh. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. I accidentally um, remove. Remove the neck joint from from the head. I don't know if I was able to do that properly but we'll double check for sure it's not mm, I just hope I won't break it so that's it <laughs> oh dear I'm glad that it's easier than the other Nandoroid that I unboxed lately probably um, you may notice that I'm having a hard time to release um, the faceplate of that Nandoroid it's very hard to, you know, to detach the face plate from, from the hair. Because it's just new. And this one is new as well. But, you know, um, that's, that's an easy part <laughs> for this Nandroid. Anyway, so here is the Nandroid itself. So here is the front. Here is the side. Here is the back of the Nandoroid and it's very detailed here about the description and the logo very detailed indeed and I wasn't able to read what's, what's stated here it's very small to be honest and then here is the side here is the bottom I don't know if this is normal. Yeah, it's a design of the shoes. Here is the front and then here is the top. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at the other parts of this Nandoroid. I begin first with the two face plates that's included. Now this is the um, number two, okay, number two faceplate, and this is the cute faceplate that I really like. Here is the front, here is the side, here is the back, here is the side, here is the bottom, and then here is the top. Alright, here is the back. I don't know if I showed it to you lately. So it's really cute. I really want that face plate. To be honest, I really want to keep this Nandroid. He looks so cute. Now here is the third um, face plate. And this is a blush face plate. He looks in love. Alright, so here is the front of the face plate. Here is the side. The back the side front again and then the bottom and the top which indicates number three short for you know um the description what number is it <laughs> of the face plate um that we have here so anyway um we'll proceed on with the accessories or extra hands of this nandoroid so for this nandoroid it comes with three um three additional hands and and the other doesn't have an arm for it and this one is you know an arm with with hand hidden on the packet of the nandoroid effect <laughs> okay 
Now we'll check for some other accessories. Mm -hmm. This one has plastic for a protection. Oh dear, I might accidentally unlock the other stuff. So I just carefully <laughs> remove everything. <laughs> Anyway, so here is the arm. So we're gonna start first with the arm and the hands. So here is the arm. Extra arm for the ice cream. And the hand is removable. And the ice cream is also removable. As you can see. Oh dear, I don't know if... Sorry, it, it wasn't able to focus lately. So there's a hole for the hand. As you can see that. And it's um, removable from the, the arm that it has. See? Here is the hand without the ice cream. Here is the ice cream. It's detailed. Look at that. Detailed like a remint. Just really nice. So the next arm hmm, looks like a point finger or let me see some of the poses that we have here. <laughs> oh, this one is for the blush. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> but it looks like a point finger. That's curvy. Alright, so this is another arm. Let's see if it's removable. Yes, it is. Okay, it's removable from the arms so here is another and this is the point finger and it doesn't come with a sleeve or an arm there you go so the other oops is this one okay the other arm that has an effect of your nandoroid hiding hiding his hands in his pocket see this kind of effect it's really a handsome nandoroid <laughs> i'm not sure if i'm gonna sell it i really like it i really like this nandoroid <clears throat> So, for the other parts, um, we have a penguin and you can attach this penguin to the hair of your nandoroid. So, here is the front. Here is the side. Here is the back. The side. The bottom. And then the top. And here is the heart. So it's very detailed. So here is the front. Here is the side. Here is the back. The side. The bottom. And then the top. Hmm. You, you can attach the penguin like this, okay? At first you will release um, this little, little hair <laughs> on top of your nandoroid. Um, I'm gonna test lately if it will fit other nandoroids as well. This one is very tough. I can't remove it easy. Oh dear. <laughs> it's very hard to do. I just don't want to use um, pliers and so forth because I might accidentally damage the nandoroid. Actually, it's hard. 
very hard, especially my hands getting slippery. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm just gonna pose. <laughs> All right, here you go. I managed to detach um, this small piece of hair. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> it doesn't focus. Hey, camera, focus. Okay, here is a little piece of hair. Okay, from this top of the nandroid, nandroid's hair, and replace it with a penguin, so you can attach the penguin on his head, <laughs> which is really cute. It's pretty heavy though. Um, if you make it as a doll, I think it will be very hard because, you know, it will make the head even more heavier than usual. So it's cute <laughs> having a duck <laughs> on top of his head. And I will attach it once again. I will attach this here so I won't lost it. I'm still double thinking if I'm gonna um, resell this Nandoroid or not. He's really cute. <laughs> so we'll see about the other parts of this nandroid. What else do we have here? Well, I like the other nandroids. Um, this standard comes with an ordinary stand or regular stand um, like the rest of other nandroids the square stand with a C C support C support stand here is the stand and here is to attach the heart. Here is where you will attach this one. I don't know if I know this the right way because it will fall like this. Mm -hmm. Well, well. I'm gonna follow the manual. So yeah, here is what we did to the hair. So we'll see about the heart. How to attach the heart. So you got the L here and... Hmm... It doesn't show how. How to attach this one. I really like this. And then place it on the stand. Like that. Alright, so we'll see what else. And this android also comes up with an extra neck joint. So that's it for the unboxing and I'm gonna show you some possible pose for this nandroid. Hi guys, so anyway, um, for this pose, I use the, the heart with a, an arrow and then I also use a penguin as a background, also the point finger and the primary face plate for this nandroid. So, I hope that you like this pose and anyway, I will proceed on to the next possible pose for this nandroid. Alright, so for this pose, I use the penguin and I place the penguin on top of his head. 
Okay, and I also use the hand that's carrying the ice cream together with the arm that has the other hand hidden in his pocket effect <laughs> all right so i hope that you like this pose and anyway let's proceed on to the final pose that i have in mind so the final pose will be this one the blush um face plate <laughs> because um i find it cute and he looks like he's in love in this scene and I also use, I don't know if you will call that a point finger. <laughs> um, this is um, kind of different from the point finger usually because it's kind of curvy. Alright, so anyway, um, this is the final pose that I'm gonna show to you. But also, I'm also gonna provide for you some information with regards to the penguin. And oh dear. You can detach actually um, the note for the penguin because I managed to remove mine. <laughs> oh dear, I don't know if it was seen. This one, okay, from the penguin, it's removable as you can see. So that you can be able to place it um, if you don't want to use the stand. As well, you can attach this penguin to your other nandroids like this. <laughs> this is from, um, I don't know the name of the nandroid um, who has this hair. Um, it can be attached to any hairs that has a, a hole or... Oops, <laughs> that happens, my gosh. That's the problem that I have lately that it was um, accidentally um, <laughs> got stuck like this <laughs> but carefully remove that guys don't ever use um, any other tools aside from your finger um, because you might accidentally you know destroy the item itself and anyway, I hope that you may find this unboxing video helpful. And thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye.